Minverse stands for matrix inverse in Excel. This Excel function transforms a matrix into an inverse matrix with the same number of arrays. All you will know about this function by just watching the complete video. Let's get started with the video. After discussing the inverse matrix, it is necessary to grasp what the inverse matrix is all about. Inverse matrix. The inverse matrix is the reciprocal of a number. For example, we may write the reciprocal for the number 5 as when we multiply a number by its reciprocal. The outcome is always 1. When we multiply the number 5 by its reciprocal 1 over 5, we get the number 13. So using the same logic, the inverse matrix can be expressed as a minus 1. And the number mentioned earlier may also be written as 5 minus 1. In the same way, multiplying a matrix by its inverse yields the identity matrix, or I. The identity matrix's equation is shown as a asterisk a minus 1 equals I. When discussing the inverse matrix in Excel, we must also consider the identity matrix. With an identity matrix, all of the rows and columns have the same number of rows and columns diagonally. We get 1 as the value, and everything else is 0. As a result, the identity matrix will always have the form 2 asterisk 2, 3 asterisk 3, 4 asterisk 4. We can cross check if the matrix is inverted or not using the MMULT functions in Excel. And we'll get an identity matrix that looks like this. How do you use Minverse in Excel? Minverse is a built-in Excel function that calculates the inverse of a matrix. The syntax of Minverse is equals Minverse, open parenthesis, array, close parenthesis, where array is the matrix to be inverted. For example, take a look at this 3 times 3 matrix. We have matrix numbers from A2 to C2. To reverse this matrix, create an identical table next to the above table, but do not keep the same values and keep the field empty. In the range E2 to G4, we will create an inverse of the matrix. First, select the range of cells from E2 to G4. Now, in the selected range of cells, open the Excel minverse function. The first argument of the minverse function is an array. It is the range of matrix values that we are trying to inverse. So our 3 times 3 matrix values are in the range of A2 to C4. Before closing the formula, we need to remember that minverse is an array, so we need to close out the formula using the CSE keys. Note, CSE stands for Control plus Shift plus Enter, so all the array formulas are closed with these keys only. So, close the formula by pressing the Enter key by holding the Control plus Shift key together. As we can see above, we have an inverse matrix using the minverse function. Since it is an array formula, we can see curly brackets at the start and end. In Excel, what is an example of how to utilize Minverse? Minverse is an Excel function that takes a matrix and calculates its inverse. Finding the inverse of a matrix that is used to compute a company's revenue over time is an example of how to use Minverse in Excel. Each month would be represented by a column, and each product would be represented by a row. To compute the company's revenue for each product over each month, the minverse function would be used to discover the inverse of the matrix. When is it not a good idea to utilize minverse in Excel? The inverse of a matrix is calculated using the minverse function in Excel. Although the function can be used to solve systems of linear equations, it should not be employed in all circumstances. First, the matrix must be square, with the same number of rows and columns on both sides. Second, the matrix's determinant must be non-zero. The minverse function will return an error if either of these conditions is not meant. This was all from my side to guide you about Microsoft Excel's built-in Minverse function. Have you found this video helpful? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get more knowledgeable and fact-based videos.